So to start things off, I just want to give a big thank you to EA for sponsoring and providing our first eight theme teams on a side account for our theme team series. For those of you who don't know, last year we did a theme team series where we used all 32 NFL teams and then proceeded to rank them based on how they played. And I'm excited to do it again this year. I hope you all are too. And for today's video, we're gonna be using the Seattle Seahawks, who I'm definitely excited to use today. Very solid team, but I have nothing really planned for this intro funny wise or joke wise or anything of that matter so i have one quick announcement you may have heard it already then we'll jump into the video i am excited and thankful to announce that i am now officially a partner with ea in their supported creator program so i now have my own code in the ea store and what that means is when you're trying to add points in the ea store you can enter a promo code for any of the creators that are a part of the program my promo code is actually going to be chaos K-A-U-S. And again, there's several great creators that are part of this program, but when you type in the code, whichever code that you're using, if you've done it correctly, you will then see their name located here in the EA store. But I do want to mention anyone that uses my code, I do receive some money back on that. So I appreciate any of you who do it. But what I'm not asking for is for anyone that's no money spent or doesn't really buy packs to try to support me by buying packs. That's not what I'm asking for. I love and appreciate you. But what I'm asking for is for anyone who does buy packs to support one of the creators in the program by using a code. That's what I ask. I appreciate and love all of you. Now let's get back to the show. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today we're going to be doing the Seattle Seahawks theme team. And I'm pretty excited about it. It's our third team out of 32 that we've done so far. And they have a couple new out of position players that I'm pretty excited about. They have the new right outside linebacker, Jamal Adams. And they have the strong safety, DK Metcalf. So definitely excited about that. I don't want to take too long on this intro. Just a quick reminder that we will be playing one game on next gen and one game on current gen, approximately, depending on how the games go. Now, I'll quickly update you on the rankings here. The Raiders are going to be at number one. And the reason why I felt that way is because I felt a little bit more comfortable on offense, being able to have that gunslinger and the hot route master that no other QB in the game right now, other than Rich Gannon, was able to offer so that's why the rankings are what they are both were really good on defense both were really good on offense the Raiders were just a little bit ahead of them so that's it for the rankings let's quickly jump over to here to the lineup and then we'll get into the game so the Seahawks lineup definitely has some strengths to it Russell Wilson's going to get that escape artist I'm also going to use roaming Deadeye with Russell John Alexander Edron James two great running backs right there and then also Chris Carson you have Devin Hester as the wide receiver number one and then Tyler Lockett is the wide receiver number two now it was tough to choose because Warwick is another great wide receiver and then you have DK Metcalf too who gets the 98 speed but since Hester was 99 I put uh, Hester at number one and then since Lockett was at 97 plus really really good route running I ended up going with Lockett as the wide receiver number two so those are the two that I chose we have Jimmy Graham as our uh, tight end but keep in mind they didn't get slot apprentice on Jimmy Graham so in the split close I'm not going to be able to have those extra routes at the tight end position because there was no high route master and there was no slot apprentice now it does get a tight end apprentice so when we go to the trips tight end for the current gen games we will still have that available we have edge protector on brandon shell and then the o line is just solid across the board and then we still have another edge protector on walter jones as well to go over the rest of the abilities here we're using omaha and russell wilson that's probably my favorite x factor for qbs right now i did mention escape artist and roaming dead eye Devin Hester just double me. Sean Alexander, we have backfield mismatch. Didn't get backfield master, so that was definitely something else worth noting as well. Edron James did get backfield master, so we put that on. Uh, double me on Lockett, Walter Jones, edge protector, and then Brandon Shell, edge protector. Now, something else worth noting on the offense before we jump over to the defense here. They weren't able to get to 50 out of 50 go deep, so that's something I just wanted to mention. Now, if we did use players that weren't necessarily on the roster but got the team chemistry, like the theme diamond Barry Sanders, who gets all of them, or the captains, they get all the chemistries, we might have been able to get there if we replaced Chris Carson with a Barry Sanders. But since the way we're doing this series is we're only using players that were on the roster, we weren't able to get to 50 out of 50 go deep. So that's just something I wanted to mention. Now, going over to defense here, I did want to remind you these players were provided and sponsored by ea on a side account so they're not available in my main account but i did want to mention that they were provided by ea so big thank you to them now Quandre Diggs is our starting free safety we have earl thomas we have the right outside linebacker jamal adams that i mentioned bobby wagner very very solid team across the board cam chancellor is going to be our starting strong safety and then dk metcalf's actually going to play in the slot for us that's where i felt like dk was best used because 93 man coverage and 99 zone coverage after chemistry so that's where we've been playing metcalf at Richard Sherman's our cornerback number two. Very solid D-line across the board. And then Trey Flowers is going to be other, our other slot when we're in a dime set. Now, if we're in a nickel set, it'll just be Metcalf. But if we're in a dime, Trey Flowers is going to play there as well. And then we have Shaquille Griffin as our cornerback number one. 
Now going over to the abilities for defense here on next gen i like to focus on stopping the run for the most part the abilities will change when we go to current gen games but for the next gen ones we have a lot of secure tacklers bobby wagner cam chancellor jamal adams all have secure tackler dk metcalf is another one with secure tackler and then quandre Diggs is our last secure tackler we also have inside stuff on john randall and sheldon richardson and then as far as our x factors go shaquille griffin's universal coverage cam chancellor's universal coverage and then quandre Diggs is universal coverage so that's the abilities on defense and then getting over here to team strategy we're going to be in the patriots offense again for the next gen games we're going to be switching to the raiders for the current gen games on offense and then we're giants for both so that's it for the team let's jump into the game here we go with game one you see their team you see our team here we go we're going to be starting this one on offense so we're just going to run the ball to try to get to a hash see what sean alexander can do Ooh, i thought sean alexander had a chance right there i i'm really liking the split close on on the next gen i'm really enjoying it i feel like the runs are really solid the passes are solid as well we're gonna go to double wheels right here to start the game our first pass of the game and we're going double wheels here we go and we have jimmy jimmy nice catch jimmy now we're going to another one of our favorite combos which is wheel or post then we're gonna have wheel then we're gonna have wheel that was a little bit that was a little bit closer than i had hoped for but edrin james makes the play for us right there the Seahawks offense definitely is really solid from running backs to wide receivers to quarterback to tight end across the board they I feel like they're really really solid we're going back to Wheeler Post we are going back to Wheeler Post I love I love the sayings that we had for this offense last year I think we have the streak then we have the streak Tyler Lockett yes let's go I loved the sayings we had for this offense last year double wheels Wheeler Post loving being back in split close they're going to be coming out in strong close for this one solid passes out of this formation and solid run play so we're looking out for both and there's a laser there is an absolute laser right there that pass by them right there can you feel it steaming great pass by them to start the game right there this formation definitely has good passes and run plays so you kind of have to look out for both oh oh nice job clowny remember now we have metcalf in the slot and he's actually man to the tight end right here oh they blocked they blocked no it's a check and release it's a check and release griffin griffin can we go can we go griffin what a play We're looking for our slant our skinny post right here we're gonna have neither we're gonna have neither they played really good defense on that last play we're gonna go back to wheeler post because that's what's worked for us so far in the game edrin james edrin james with another tough catch all right we have a third down right here we have a third down i know i feel like we're, i feel like we're running a lot of the same plays but on, on third and short here i feel like double wheels is the play we might have jimmy uh, up the seam and then we have the, the two wheels to look at as well so that's what we're going to here nope it's man coverage nothing's open nothing's open we have to run we just gotta throw the ball away we have a big fourth down coming up I'm hoping they're staying in that man coverage here they didn't but i think we have the table great catch shot alexander i was hoping it was gonna be man coverage again they, it was not it was not and we were looking for our skinny post going deep if they do go to that man coverage again that skinny post i think should get open especially with the high speed that we have on hester and Lockett. we have 99 on hester so if they go to man coverage as this goes to the end of the quarter i feel like that skinny post is going to be there for us we're looking for the skinny post here again it is man coverage it is not there though it is not there can we take off with russell no that was perfect defense by them i thought that that post could be there it looked like it was manned up on an skinny post but not, it wasn't there it just wasn't available to it. we were wrong about that we're gonna go to something else here we're gonna go to this play hoping here that they are in that a uh, cover three not but i think we have jimmy i think we have jimmy and we have roaming dead eye so that was a good pass from russell wilson if we just let go of that right trigger it activates the the roaming dead eye out there we're able to get the catch loving this offense so far loving the offense so far we're gonna, now keep in mind i actually have to base my plays around certain routes now since we don't have hot route masters so we're going to z spot so we can have that corner route ooh, ooh, i think we have that seed hester hester with the toe I thought we caught it. I thought we caught it. That is okay. That is okay. I thought we caught that. We didn't. But we, if we want to use a corner route, we kind of have to go to mesh or Z spot because we don't have a slot apprentice on Jimmy Graham. So just trying to base my play calls around that. Looking for the seam again. This time we're looking for the seam to Jimmy Graham. Doesn't look like it's there. Oh, that was a little bit of a tight throw. That was a little bit of a tight throw. Uh, Sean Alexander makes the play. Those wheels, they're looking a little bit closer than I would like them to be, but we've caught all of them so far. So I'm definitely liking that. Now, in the red zone, I feel like double wheels is the play. That's that's pretty much all I called last year. If I was passing the ball last year, it's split close in the red zone. It was pretty much double wheels. So looking for it here. Ooh, I, was, I almost threw it right to them with Jimmy. Nice defense, nice lurk. It was man coverage in the last play. So we're hoping it's man coverage again. It is 
It is. I think we have that drag. Oh, no. Because we had the table. Because we had the table route out there. The drag beat the initial man coverage. But we had two routes going to the same spot. That's on me. And the other defender was there to play it. We're going to shoot the gap on any run plays here. It's going to be a pass. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a laser. Oh, no. That's a laser over the top. Can we catch up? Can we catch up, Diggs? We're able to catch up, but that is a super dot. We got to try to see if we can hold a three. I'm actually going to run commit right here. We're going to run commit on this first play. We're able to get a stop on the run. That's what I wanted right there. We're going to call timeout. We want to try to hold a three right here. Now we're going to start to play the pass. I'm going to shoot the gap here with Adams. Oh, we were able to get back there, but we missed. We were able to get back there, but we missed. Great drive from them. We got to try to see if we can answer with a little bit of time left before we have a minute 37. Now, since we're not on a hash here, and I feel like we have a decent amount of time. I'm actually going to run the ball. Nice job by them to bring that slot corner over because that's exactly why I was flipping to try to get a stronger, more blockers than the defenders out there. So great job by them. Now we're on a hash mark, though. We can start to pass the ball. Ideally here, we can get at least three. If we can get a touchdown, that's great. But ideally, at least three here. Now, I feel like we have a couple zone beating and a couple man beating concepts here. So we can look for either one. And we have Jimmy. Then we have Jimmy. Oh, and it's inaccurate. We don't have anything to go against any impre uh, pressure inaccurates or anything like that. So we're going to we're going to deal with that from time to time. We've seen that from quarterbacks. We saw it with Rich Gannon just in the last episode. So and speaking of the last episode, if you all want to see the playlist with all the teams as we're going to continue to add them, it's going to be in one of these corners. Not sure which one. One of these corners will have the card for uh, the, the, the playlist for all of the theme teams. Right. So, oh, I think we oh, we had the angle. Well, we didn't get the pass off. All right, fourth down. We're going to we're gonna put the ball away here. We're going to try to take... We're going to see if they call a timeout, but we're going to punt the ball away. As we punt the ball away here, that's just another note of Gunslinger. I do feel like we get that pass off if we have Gunslinger. So when you're looking to build your theme teams, thinking about what quarterbacks, what players get what abilities, the team that you would like to build. Oh, no, we got stuck on our DT. We got stuck on our DT. Diggs? No, we got stuck on our DT. And they throw another super laser. We're going to be in some trouble going into halftime. I believe it is their ball at half. So we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. We got to try to get some points before half. Oh, and they missed the extra point. Okay, they actually missed the extra point. That helps us a lot. That actually helps us a lot. We're looking to roll out to the right right here to try to pick up a big play. And we have Jimmy Graham. And we got the all the run. And it was accurate. We're going to take a timeout. I think that was in bounds. That, that was in bounds. We're going to take a timeout. We're close to field goal range here. We actually have Janikowski. So this might already be field goal range depending on the win. So I want to make, I want to try to make sure here that I don't lose a ton of yards. So what we're going to do is really just hopefully get one of our table routes going to the, uh, going to the sidelines and we're going to have it. We're going to have it Edrin, and we got out of bounds. Yes. Perfect. We're just going to kick the three right now. We're going to kick the three right now. And that actually worked out well. So since they missed the extra point and if we make this field goal, there was actually seven miles per hour win against us. So I'm really glad that we tried to get those extra yards there. And now, now that we have this field goal, we're actually only going to be down three going into halftime. We got to try to see if we can get a stop. I'm watching the middle of the field and trying to shoot the gap on any run plays right here. That's my responsibility with Jamal. Work in the middle. Got some pressure. We got some pressure. They're able to get the ball away, but we'll take it. Same responsibilities here. We're watching the middle of the field. We got some pressure here. And we're able to knock it. Fourth down. Biggest play of the game so far right here. Middle of the field is my responsibility again here. Oh, that's a dot. That is a dot. We had 20 yard purples out there, but they were kind of pressed inside. They were kind of pressed inside. That's my fault. I need to watch for it here. I need to watch for it here. I'm on that corner route. Oh, and then they throw a laser up the seam. And then they throw a big time tackle there. Big time tackle by the back. We have to try to hold a three. We have to try to hold a three here. I'm watching for the seams. I'm watching for the seams. Oh, Flowers! Flowers just made the play of the game. Can we go? Flowers just made the play of the game. I was not ready for any type of screen or anything underneath at all. And Flowers makes the play. Let's go. That is just the Seahawks defense making a big time play right there because I was not ready for whatever play that they were calling right there. And Jamal Adams has a chance at it. And Jamal Adams has a chance at it. Let's go. Seahawks defense just making plays right now. We're going to look to run the ball here to try to get to a hash mark. But this is a big possession right here. This is a big possession. If we're able to get a touchdown, we could be up two possessions so that's what we're aiming for if we end up getting three that is okay because we'll still have a touchdown lead but if we can get a touchdown if we can get a touchdown here we'll be in a great spot we will be in a great spot I'm hoping this is man coverage right here i'm hoping this is man coverage it is we're looking for jimmy we're looking for jimmy let's go jimmy nice catch this is man coverage we're looking for our skinny post going deep it's not man coverage we'll just take our drag we'll just take our drive 
Great job, Hester. Big third down right here. We don't want to take three, but we also don't want to make any mistakes and cost ourselves a possible... Ooh, I'm... A... Oh, that was not open. That was not open. I'm glad we got hit there. I said... I was saying that we didn't want to make any mistakes because we'd rather the three than zero. And that was probably a mistake of a throw. That was probably going to be a pick if we didn't get tackled right there. But... Heading this field goal, we're going to be up seven here. We need one more stop. We might need two stops if we don't get any more scores. Oh, nice job. Nice tackle. We might even need two stops if we don't score anymore for the rest of this game. But this possession is really, really important because we're able to get a stop right here. We'll be in a great spot. And then we can take some clock and then maybe even work for a field goal, which would now put us up two possessions now that we got that last field goal. So that's what we're looking for right here. I'm lurking in the middle of the field right now. That's our main thing. And then from there, we just whatever our opponent does, we can kind of adjust from there. But I'm watching the middle. Oh, no. I gave that up. I gave that up again. That's the same route we gave up before. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have had a middle linebacker or someone in a deep blue in the middle there. And we gave it right back up. So we didn't get that stop. We're going to have the ball now. We got to try to score again. We're on the ball to try to get to a hash mark again here. I have liked this power out throughout the game. It looks like there's space there. So that's something I will go back to at some point during this game. I feel like, I feel like that's been there for us. And we're actually going to go to this corner route play. We're going to try to get Jimmy on the outside here. We do have roaming dead eye. So we can make some plays on the outside here. And we don't have we don't have backfield master on Alexander. So we're going to we're going to use an out route instead of a table route. Ooh, we don't have Jimmy. We have the out route though. We have the out route. Let's go. Let's go. Is that a first down? Yes, it's a first down. Let's go. I've liked this run today. So we're going back to it here. We have a chance to get to the outside. Shot Alexander. Ooh. Oh, I thought we had that there. I thought that we had that right there. But you know what? I like that run. We're going to flip it again. We're going to go right back to it. I know it's to the short side, but I've liked it. Nice flip. That was a nice flip by then. I, actually, they just audible to 3-3-5. That was, that was a nice play. And that, was, that, that was good run defense. That was good run defense. This is man coverage. We're looking for this post going deep. I think we're going to have Hester. I think we're going to have Hester. I think we're going to have Hester. And we're going to get to the one yard line yes we're in a position now where it's gonna be really tough to kind of clock out without any penalties or anything like that so we're actually gonna take this to the two minute warning but it's pretty important that we get seven here instead of three because they're gonna probably have some time left all right we're actually gonna go on aggressive here and we're gonna try to run the ball with either sean alexander or with edger and james whichever side that they don't have the slot corner on, we're gonna try to flip here they're gonna flip with us that's smart that is smart they've done it for the majority of this game they flip with us so we're gonna try with sean alexander here we'll see if we can get in and we're going to get in. I'm not sure if that was just Alexander making the play or progressive or both. Whatever the case is, we're going to be up seven pending this extra point here. Let's see if we can get a stop. We're going to be lurking in the middle of the field with Chancellor. We got some pressure. We got some pressure. Yes. We're staying in this cover three to try to take away the middle of the field. Oh, no. We might have got beat over the top. We got beat over the top. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a big time conversion from them right there. Okay. Minute 18 left. They're still a little bit low on time with only the one timeout. But we got to continue to try to do our best right here. Oh, no. We got stuck on Randall. Doesn't bounce. Oh, a fumble. 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 And the Seahawks defense is going to make the play. They're going to make the play. And we're just going to go down here. And we should be able to clock this out. Big time play from the Seahawks defense. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. That was a super fun one. We're on to game two. Here we go with game two. And remember, this one's going to be on current gen. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one on offense here. We'll start with inside zone. We have some space. We have some space. Ooh, that was that was close. That was close. We're looking slanter post right here. We're looking slanter post. We have neither. We're going to take off with Russ. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. We'll definitely take that. That is okay. The only abilities that we changed on offense are switching the tight end apprentice to Jimmy Graham, and then we took off backfield master on Edger and James since we have Edger and James out wide. Now, that's the only changes that we've made to the offensive abilities. We did make a good amount on defense, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to defense. We got a table, I think. We got a table. Sean Alexander. We still have backfield mismatch on Sean Alexander. We'll take it. I feel like the inside zone can do really well against this defense. We have space with Sean Alexander. We have some space. We're actually looking for our seam to lock it right here. I feel like the seam could be there. It's not there. It's not there. It is not there. Actually, catching the end of that play, it was there. Looking for our flat to the outside or our slant here. We have our slant. We have our slant. Nice catch, Hester. This is a big third down early on in this game. We don't want to face a fourth down. We don't want to face a fourth down. Great job, Sean. Looking for Lockett on the outside here. Not going to have it. Not going to have it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like we might have Lockett right here. I feel like we might have Lockett. I wanted to try it. Nope. I wanted to try that streak. It was not there. And we're on a third and 27 here. So the aim here is to try to get to field goal range. We do have Janikowski. 
so we don't have to gain too many yards but we have to gain some here i'm aiming for about 10. if we can get 10 yards on this play i feel like we'll get into field goal range at least a, at least a try one right at least a try one so i'm not gonna try to pick up the first down i feel like 27 yards is gonna be really tough to do just looking to get 10 to 15 right here if we can do that i'll feel good about it i feel like we have a table we have our table sean we stayed in bounds too sean alexander sean alexander just made a great play i kind of want to go for this now fourth and seven fourth and seven that this made this kind of this is possible to get that play i'm gonna call timeout you know what i'm just let it go to the end of the quarter here so we can get our energy back i actually want to go for this we've had some success with this slander post setup we're going back to it here i think we have jimmy i think we have jimmy great route jimmy graham we're able to pick up the first down all right that's great because i actually really thought we were gonna have to settle for three or even punt the ball on this drive after going to that third and 27 so i'll definitely take getting a first down here i feel like the inside zone is there i feel like the inside zone is there it's worked well against this 146 so far we cut it back oh sean 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 alexander sean alexander sean alexander oh no oh no we got stuck we got stuck that could be a touchdown that could be a touchdown or it could be a pick it could be a touchdown or it could be a pick oh or it could be a knockout i guess great job knocking that out we were not ready for it and we were stuck on our dt middle of the field is my responsibility here oh nice read really nice read okay we have a third down here though i'm still watching the middle of the field Ooh, that was a big time read. That was a big time read to the running back right there. I'm watching for the screen on the outside right here. Great job, Brady. Same thing here. I'm watching the middle of the field. I'm trying to take everything away. Great job. All right, another third down here. Let's see what we can do. We played sticks here to try to take away anything at the marker. Oh, they got a laser. They got a laser. Great play. We actually had our purple set to 20, but we didn't have any purples on the field for that last play. So we gave up a dot to the corner, which is not something that we wanted to do. Oh, they made a great play right there to get that throw off. We didn't we didn't have our 20 yard purples out there, which we probably should have had on a third and long, but we didn't. So they converted great play to them. Now let's see what uh now if we let's see if we can get another opportunity to get a stop get him in another third and long pot potentially here on this th nice read nice read Ooh, really really nice play they have done a really really good job this entire drive dotting us down the field but now we have a chance with metcalf we have a chance with metcalf let's see if we can go let's see if we can go metcalf 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 i think we're gonna go we have the speed with metcalf wow what a what a turn of events right there what a turn of events I'm thinking they're gonna at least get three. They've done a great job all drive dotting us. Metcalf makes a play. We're gonna be starting this half on defense here. Ooh, nice read to the seam. Nice read to the seam. I need to make sure to watch that seam read again. Oh, we got, ooh, that was nice. That was kind of like a makeshift screen on the outside with that running back wheel becoming a blocker. I actually forgot to talk about our abilities. We're really just using three double or nothings. We have one instant rebate on our DT. And then we have, oh, that's a laser. That is a laser. And then we have seven, uh, six, excuse me, six acrobats out there. That's our abilities right now. We didn't have anyone that could get one step ahead other than I believe Richard Sherman. So we just decided to go away from that. We're playing a lot of zone for this half, for this game, excuse me. And we're just going with acrobats and uh, double or nothings for some possible block shed. So that's really where we're, where we're, oh, oh, that was, that was really close again. You know what? I actually believe I made a mistake and didn't activate Clowney or uh, or Freeney. Ooh, nice, nice play getting that, that pass out. Freeney or Clowney. So we actually only have one double or nothing out there. So we're missing two of our double or nothing. So that goes our plan of having three pass, uh, three pass rushing abilities out there. But I feel like they've done a great job of shedding anyways. So it's been okay. And we had those, we had those six acrobats out there to make plays. So definitely something that's been solid for us for the majority of this game. I'm actually going to send some pressure right here. I'm going to send some pressure. You can try to get, try to get some pressure on the QB. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be a run play. It's going to be a run play. Oh, Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams got there so quick. Checking back in here after, I feel like I owed you all an explanation. We actually didn't have one of our acrobats on Richard Sherman activated as well. So we were missing that and the two double or nothing so i apologize for that richard sherman also couldn't get one step ahead the way that i thought so none of our corners could now let's get back to the game i'm watching this iso receiver i'm sprinting right over there oh it's a dot that is a super dot right there on a third and long again okay we're only up seven now we're only up seven now we got to try to see if we can take some clock and then to get some type of points now we're just going to start this drive off with a run play but i do want to apologize for forgetting to activate oh nice play I do want to apologize for forgetting to activate uh, two of my double or nothings out there. That's usually something that I actually would just re-record the game on. But this has been a good, really good game so far. It's been a really good game that I feel like shows the Seahawks really well. So I feel like I wanted to stick with it. I wanted to stick with it. And if you all are upset with me about that, I'm sorry. My apologies. But 
I feel like this was a good game to keep. So we're gonna we're gonna continue on with it. We're gonna continue on with it. We're in a big possession right here. Cause we if we don't get some type of points, we are in some trouble. They've driven really well on us all game, pretty much. Ooh, we're gonna be on a third down right here. They've driven really well on us all game. We did have the pick six, but that's after they drove all the way down the field. So if we have to give the ball back only up seven. We could be in some trouble here. Now we're looking for this table route because it's been there for most of the game. But if they take that away, which they did, we're looking slander post. Ooh, we still have the post. Ooh, no. All right, we're going to take this down to the fourth quarter. We're on a fourth and 13. Do we punt the ball away right here? I feel like the punt is the play here. We're going to try to get a stop. We're entering the fourth quarter right here. Assuming that they don't go for two, we're up a full possession with that touchdown. So we just got to try to see if we can get a stop. I'm watching this left seam right here because we got dotted there before. Not there. And the spy. Ooh, great late read right there. They they waited on that perfectly. That was an awesome late read. They're 13 for 15. Like I said, they've been dotting us the majority of the game here. Ooh, ooh, it's a run play. Jamal Adams! Jamal Adams! We got a third down here. Let's go. I'm watching this right middle here. Ooh, we have a fourth down. This is the biggest play of the game so far. I'm watching the right seam. From there, no. Oh, Jamal! Jamal made the play! Do we have space to get up? Ooh, I was hoping we could get up and get to field goal range right there. We need about one first down, depending on how long it takes us to get one or two first downs right here could win the game. This is this call coming down to this drive here. Let's see. We'll start off with a run play. We'll see if we can pick up some yards that way. And they're, they're pretty much all over it. They're pretty much all over it. We're likely going to have to pass here to try to get the first down. I am going to run the ball one more time since we're not on a hash. And I feel like we could take some clock. So I'm going to let this run down here. We'll run it one more time. And then we'll see what we have on third down. The main thing here is to try to get to a hash mark. We're able to do it in more. Whoa! If I made the right cut right there, we might have been able to get to field goal range. But we'll definitely take a first down. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponents. That's going to do it for the video as well. I hope you all enjoyed it. Seahawks were a lot of fun. Two very fun games. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. Super fun games on both sides. I'll see you all in the next one.